Hello everyone. Welcome back to the session. In today's session, we will be discussing the 12th practical program that is using the concept of pointers to object. Have a look at the question. Write a C++ program to create a class containing the following data members. They are register number, name, and fees. And also create a member functions to read the data and display the data using the concept of pointers to object. So first of all, what do you mean by the term called as pointer? Pointer is a special variable that holds the uh, memory address of another variable. Pointer is a special variable that holds the memory address of another variable. Okay, so have a look at the question. So as you all are aware of the syntax, how to declare a pointer, data type, asterisk, pointer, variable name, and with the semicolon. But in this program, I'm just making use of only two member functions. One is read and another one is display. Those two member functions will be declared inside the class and I'm going to define outside the class. But the interesting thing is, so far in almost, so far in the previous programs, we have created a normal object. But here in this program, I'm going to create a pointer object. I'm going to create a pointer object, okay? That is what the difference in this program. Have a look at the program. The first two lines are called as a header files. Have a look at the first one, hash include within the angular bracket iostream.h stands for input output stream header file. Second one, hash include conio.h stands for console input output header file. Then comes the declaration of a class. A class is a user defined data type which which can hold both the data and as well as function. So class is a keyword and what is the name of class? Student. Some data members, some three data members were used here. Register number of type integer, name of 20 of type character and fees is of type float. Two member functions were declared inside the class. The first one void read member function. Second one void display member function. This close flower bracket and end with semicolon represents the end of class declaration. Got the point? Okay. So every C and C++ program execution starts from which particular line? Void main function. From this particular line, the execution starts here. Open flower bracket. This line is nothing but a creation of an object. See, look at this. Student one blank space, yes, comma, star, yes, P, end with semicolon. Here, I'm creating two objects. Here, I'm creating two objects. Student is a name of the class. Yes is an user defined object and star SP is a pointer object. I'll repeat once again. Student is a name of class. Yes is a user defined object. Star SP is a pointer object. End with semicolon. CLR SCR function, okay. In the next line, SP is equals to address of yes. End with semicolon. This SP is a pointer object. Pointer object is holding the memory address of which object? Yes object. I'll repeat once again. SP is a pointer object. This pointer object is holding the memory address of yes object. Got the point? So in the next line, SP arrow read member function. SP is a pointer object, okay? In, in the previous program, we used to access the member functions with the help of dot operator. We used to call it as a member access operator. But here, in order to read, uh, in order to access read member function, in order to access display member function, one has to use an arrow operator. This is called as an arrow operator. SP is a pointer object, arrow. I'm trying to access which member function? Read member function. Directly, it goes to the read member function here. Void is the return type specifier. That means read member function does not return any value. For that purpose, we are using the keyword as void. Student is a name of class. These two colons are called as scope resolution operator. Read is a member function, open flower bracket. What we are doing in this member function, I'm trying to access this student name. See out stream insertion within the double quotation, enter student name, okay? So scene dot get line of name comma 20 and with semicolon. So another, another input statement is scene stream extraction name and with semicolon that is also allowed, okay? 
So we like uh, we have accepted name. The next lines we have enter register number. We have accepted register number and enter fees and we have accepted fees. So three uh, data members accepted. One is name, another one is register number, another one is fees accepted. After that, it comes to the again void main function to execute the next member function. SP is a pointer object arrow display. I'm trying to access display member function. Cursor comes to this particular line. Void is the return type specifier. Student is a name of class. And these two colons are called as a scope resolution operator. Display is a member function. In the next line, open flower bracket. I'm trying to just print the register number. Register number will print as it is in front of the same line. I'm going to print the value of the content which is stored in the register number. Cursor comes to the next line because of endl. In the next line, see out stream insertion within the double quotation. Student name will print as it is because that is written in double quotation. Double quotation closes stream insertion. So name will be displayed here. Cursor comes to the next line because of endl. In the next line, see out stream insertion. Student piece is equals to will print as it is because that is written in double quotation. It is going to print as it is on the output device. Stream insertion piece. The content of this variable will be displayed here. Cursor comes to the next line because of endl. This close flower bracket indicates that end of display member function. Again, it comes to the void main function to execute which function? Get function. The usage of get function is once you finish the whole program, you will compile and run the program. There you are inputting the value like in the student name, register number, fees. Once you press enter, we'll be getting the output there itself without coming back to the programming screen. This is what the a program, a simple program using the concept of pointer to object. Followed? Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.